Okay, let's begin. So coming to a comfortable seat of your choice. If you'd like to come closer to the earth, cross-legged seat or a kneel. If you're sitting in a chair, just being mindful that you feel equal weight in the bottoms of the feet. And wherever we are, we're just gonna start to feel the palms resting gently on tops of the thighs. We'll begin today with a breathing technique called yogic square breath. How it'll work, we'll inhale in for the count of four. Pause at the height of the breath for four counts. And then we'll proceed to breathe out for four counts and then we'll pause, hold that breath out for four counts. So your choice in whether the eyes remain open or if they feel more comfortable softening and closing. And before we start, let's take a cleansing breath. So inhale, filling the lungs. And then exhale, taking an open mouth to reset. Let's begin. Inhale, breathing in through the nose for one, two, three, four, holding the breath for one, two, three, and four. Good. Slowly release the breath through the nose for one, two, three, and four. Squeeze, hold the breath out for one two, three, four. Again, sipping air in for one, to the chest two, higher to the collarbone three. Pause, suspend the breath four. Hold for one, two, three, and four. Slow release out through the nose, don't rush one. Relax through the chest two, down to the mid torso, three. Breath moves to the belly, four. We're gonna hold the breath out for one, two, three, and four. Again, inhale through the nose, one. Slow two, three. Hold four. Suspend breath for one, two, three, and four. Slowly take your time, exhale, one, two, three, four, hold the breath out, one, two, three, and four. Very nice work. The eyes are closed, slowly inviting light back in, fluttering the eyes open. Let's come into a cactus shape with the arms. So we're feeling like this goal post position, right? So the fingers tracking right over the elbows and then feel a little bit like the elbows are pulling forward. So we're finding open expansiveness through the front of the chest. Now we're gonna to start to synchronize our breath with our movement. So on your inhale, start to slightly twist the torso over to the left. And then on your exhale, we're slowly twisting over to the right. Now you can use breath in through the nose, out through the nose, or active through the mouth. Inhale, exhale either through the nose or out through the mouth. Good. Again, over to the left. Inhale, exhale over to the right. Two more. Good. Inhale, exhale, waking up the spine. Good. Inhale, and exhale. Good. Now that we start to bring a little more energy in the body, come back to center, bringing the hands right back down to the tops of the thighs. Shrug the shoulders up towards the ears, inhale, and then exhale, feeling them roll down and back behind you. Inhale, pull the shoulders forward and up towards the ears, and exhale, down the back. Again, shoulders shrug forward and up, and exhale, down the back. Let's start to reverse, so shoulders come back and up, and exhale forward. Again, inhale, shoulders come back and up. And exhale forward. One more, good, inhale. And exhale forward. Great, okay, so if you're down on the earth, we're gonna start to rise to standing, take your time. If you're in the chair, start to come to standing as well. Now, find this placement in the feet hips with distance, a good way to measure this out is two fists right in between the feet. So if you need that little extra guidance, it's always been a nice cue for me. So again, feeling that even weight grounded through both feet. 
we're going to start to reach and extend the arms up overhead. So feeling this deep length through the side body. Now start to take your right hand to grab for the left wrist. Start to stretch through the side body even more. So the shoulders are naturally going to come up towards the ears. And then on your exhale, start to shift the hips over to the left as you reach the palms towards the right. Good. Use that little bit of abdominal strength to lift you back up. We're going to take a pause, switch so that the left hand, grabbing for the right wrist, inhale. And then exhale this time. The hips are over to the right, and then our palms are reaching over to the left. Good. Using the abdominals to lift you back up, switch the grip. Inhale, lift high. Exhale again, hips over to the left, arms to the right. Abdominals lift you back up, switch the grip, inhale, lift up. Exhale, hips over to the right, arms to the left. Very nice. Slowly come back through center, take a moment to bring the palms to rest gently down by the side of the hips. Okay, start to wake up the thighs a little bit, generate some heat if we're feeling a little dull. So we're just gonna take the right foot forward, the left foot back, so there's about two to three feet, just depending on your um, anatomy of your body, that we wanna find that space. And then we're gonna find a deep bend in both knees, enough so that eventually we feel that back heel lift up and off of your earth, the mat, whatever you're on. And we're gonna slowly start to take your hands to the hips. Now start to inhale, straighten both legs. And then as you exhale, just a little deep bend in both knees. So we're just dropping the energy down. Inhale, straighten. Good. And then exhale, bending both knees. One more like this. Inhale, straighten. Good. Exhale, bending both knees. Let's start to straighten the legs. We're going to switch. So bringing the left foot forward, this time bringing the right foot back. And then again, find a deep bend in the knees, enough so that you start to feel that back heel peel up. Straighten slightly through the legs. So we're not trying to lock in the knees, but just a little bit of a straighten here. Inhale, and then exhale, bend. Good. Again, inhale, lift up, crown of the head reaching higher towards the sky. And exhale, bend. Good. One more, inhale, and exhale. Great. Starting to straighten the legs. We're going to come into a tree variation. So tree pose, really great for balance. Um, also aiding in better focus concentration. So taking the hands to the hips, we're going to feel the ball of the right toe rooted, grounded into the earth. Step back a little bit. And then we're feeling the heel of the foot just come to that inner place right above um, the bone and the left ankle and starting to externally peel that right hip open. So what I mean by externally is the difference if the knee is pointing forward, we want it to peel out towards the side. Yeah. All right. Now, this is where you can get a little playful and fun. If this feels like enough for you, just staying wherever you are, amazing. Just check in with where you are, stay right there. If you'd like to take it a step further, we can bring our hands to the heart. And if you'd like to take it a step further, maybe reaching the arms up overhead, then opening the palms out. And the key here is we're trying to focus on a single point in the space that you're in. This is what's called our Dristi focus. So even if you're looking down at a point on the floor in front of you, try to lock your gaze on that area, maintaining your concentration and focus. Amazing. All right, so if the arms up overhead, we're gonna slowly bring the palms together, gently bringing the hands back to our heart. Everyone, let's start to come out of it, both feet evenly rooted for a moment. Let's take a cleansing breath. Inhale, breathing full. And exhale, open mouth. All right, into the left side. So again, start to feel a little bit of weight into the ball of the left foot. And now we're just feeling the heel of the left foot come into the inner part of the um, right ankle and starting to bring the hands to the hips. 
And again, establish that point of focus. So maybe it's that exact same point of focus that you chose on the right side. Usually that's a, a good way to keep consistency. And if the hands are easily resting on the hips, maybe you start to challenge yourself a step further. Maybe it's bringing the hands to the heart. Maybe it's starting to lift the palms up overhead. Yeah, so it's a lot of work, even in a pose that we're not doing too much, but we're at the same time doing so much. So just allow yourself to feel into whatever is surfacing, breathing into the pose, wherever you are. All right, and then if the palms are up overhead, let's start to connect and then bring the hands to pass back down to the heart. Fabulous, wonderful job. Let's take both feet equally rooted into the earth, taking one more breath. Inhale and exhale, open mouth. 